Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel NetSec. This is John Yan. Today I'm gonna present in how to replace a hard drive in a Nanova IX4300D storage box. I'm having this Nanova IX4300D box for quite a few months since I bought it from some thrift side and probably 100 bucks without the hard drive inside and it's pretty decent device not that heavy but uh, have full features support the iSCSI support the RAID 5 which is I required um, just picked up 5 box hard drive 2 terabyte hard drive from factory direct today I'm gonna unbox them and replace it inside of uh, my IX4 300D. Welcome back. Here is my unbox of five hard drivers. I bought five of them, actually, I just need four. Because the IX4 300D only supports four hard drives inside. So, buy the actual one for spare, just in case. Now, let's start to replace the hard drive. Inside, I already have one hard drive, 500 gig hard drive inside, to, make, to, com to prove. The concept. It's working fine. I will show you later on the 500. I just uncovered it, unscrew the cover. Looks like decent. This is the first hard drive, and you take them out. Okay. Not sure how I do it here. it WD must digital hard drive 500 gig SATA it's just used to confirm the functionality of this box IX4 300D it works well and now we need to take it out put two terabytes in My new hard drive. Hit touch two televised. Hopefully it's working.
has six screw beside it. Just put them in, that's it. No need to use any tools. Okay. One by one. Um, okay. Okay. So it. Let me take this out. Like existing one. It's easy to take it out. Same model. Same model. Very good design. Easy to put in without any screw tools help. So Still same brand, it touch two telepites. Last piece. Okay. Let's give it a try to see.
and get to our table. Once you plug in network cable, it's all going to be turned down. Let's move it closer. The reason why he said insert the driver because I didn't put it in before, so I may need to go to the web key to initialize those hard drivers. I just put it in. This is the IX4-300D storage system with one 500 giga internal hard drive. This hard drive used to prove the function before I put all hard drives in. As you can see, there is only one 500 giga hard drive plugged Indiana. Lenovo 94-300D not ready. Your device is in an inconsistent state because the original drives were replaced. You can either put the original drives back or perform a factory reset to erase all existing data and use the new drives. To perform a factory reset you must first clear the administrator password by pressing the reset button on the back of the device. From Web GUI, we got the message to say system is not ready and needs to be reset. From storage LED screen, there is an attention message to tell us the device is in an inconsistent state because the original DEVs were replaced. To reset device, we just need to press the reset hole for 4 seconds. We will get a message to say the device software is restarting. The device will automatically reboot itself. System completed the rebooting process. 
let's browse the LED interface first. As LED screen shows, system got an IP address 192.168.2.182. Also system shows data protection is being reconstructed. Now let's log into web GUI to review the settings. After system completed initialization and detected there are 4 drives, system will automatically enable RAID 5 for hard drive protection.